In this video, we want to talk about storage area network or SAN technologies. And a SAN is a way to put a storage device on our network and let devices on our network like servers see that storage as being locally attached. And we want to talk about a few different options of having storage on our network. Here in this example, we've got some independent servers. We've got server 1, server 2. They each have a connection to their own hard drives. This direct connection to their hard drives, which might be internal hard drives, this is called DAS, D-A-S, Direct Attached Storage. And typically, servers are going to be running SCSI. SCSI stands for Small Computer System Interface. And that's the language that a server or computer can speak to its hard drive. And when this server is accessing information from the hard drive over SCSI, it's using what's referred to as block-level storage. Block-level storage is very efficient because instead of trying to retrieve or send entire files at a time, we're dealing down at a low level. We're dealing with bytes and bits. We're dealing with a block of data. So block-level storage is more efficient than file-level storage. When we think of file-level storage, think of something like having a file server on a network. Maybe on Microsoft Windows, you click on Start, Run, and then type in backslash, backslash, and you give the server name and a backslash, and you give the shared resource. And that's going to give you a window where you can start browsing files on this server. Well, that computer is seeing that server as external to itself. It's not seeing it as local storage. And it's going to be using file level access as opposed to block level access. And it's not quite as efficient. And something that's not very optimal with this DAS solution is, let's say that server 2 has extra space on their hard drive. There's not a really easy way for Server 1 to use some of that space that Server 2 has available. One fix for that issue is to put a storage device on the network. It's called a NAS, a Network Attached Storage Device. And this network appliance acts a lot like a file server. We access it like a file server. It's using file level storage as opposed to block level. And everything is Ethernet at this point. This makes it really convenient for servers and maybe even PCs to share a common repository of data. However, because we're using this file level storage, the performance is just not going to be there as compared to having a directly attached SCSI device. However, we can get some dramatic performance improvements by using something called Fiber Channel. And you see this in lots of large enterprise storage area networks. Fiber Channel does allow us to do block level storage, much more efficient than file level storage. So in this case, we've got Ethernet up at the top of the screen, and we've got Fiber Channel down at the bottom of the screen. Now, notice the servers have a couple of connections going out. For example, consider Server 2. It's connecting to the Ethernet switch using a NIC, a network interface card. But how does it connect to the Fiber Channel switch? Well, it uses something called an HBA, a host bus adapter. And this is going to create additional expense. It's going to create additional wiring requirements. We've got to have two connections out, one for the LAN and one for the SAN. But Fiber Channel does give us very high speed access to our data, which is great. However, a technology that's really getting popular these days in larger enterprises is something called Fiber Channel over Ethernet. We still get the benefit of Fiber Channel. We still get to do block level storage. However, notice here the servers don't have to have a NIC and an HBA. They just connect into this Ethernet switch. And we're Ethernet until we get to this FCOE, this Fiber Channel over Ethernet switch. And then we go Fiber Channel from that FCOE switch down to the Fiber Channel storage. This is a nice compromise that helps us save on expense. We don't have to buy an HBA for the servers. We don't have to have that additional cable going from the server to the fiber channel switch. And we get high speed throughput. But still, this is more expensive than another alternative out there. You typically see fiber channel over Ethernet in large enterprise deployments. But for small to medium sized deployments, you might instead see something called iSCSI which is Internet Small Computer System Interface. With iSCSI, there is no fiber channel. Here, Server 1, Server 2, they're connected into an Ethernet switch, and so is an iSCSI storage device. Everything is running over IP. We're encapsulating those SCSI messages and data inside of IP packets. And because we are speaking SCSI, it's just over IP, we get to do block-level access. And this is a huge cost savings as opposed to doing something with Fiber Channel. But technically, the performance is not quite as good as Fiber Channel over Ethernet, but the expense is much less than Fiber Channel over Ethernet. And that's a few of the SAN, the storage area network options that we have available today.